Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use the Goal Seek tool in Excel in order to help me determine some appropriate investment amounts based on a goal that I have. Okay, and that goal is going to be the amount I want to have in the future using this future value calculator. So, the Goal Seek tool is under the Data ribbon, under the What If Analysis drop down, and then you'll see Goal Seek. Okay, now if this is a tool you use a lot, then you can right click on Goal Seek here and you could add it to your quick access toolbar. Now I've already done that so that's why it's grayed out for me and this little green dot up here on my quick access toolbar represents my goal seek tool because I use it pretty regularly. So data ribbon what if analysis goal seek. So what does goal seek do? It allows us to get an answer to a question and the question might be something like you know what I've got this calculator set up. I need to have some money on May 1st, 2019. Maybe it's to pay for a kid's college. Maybe it's to do a down payment on a house or another piece of property. So on May 1st, 2019, I'm going to need a chunk of money. That's 7.52 years away, and I think I'll be able to get an 8% average annual return. I want to invest $60 per week and that'll get me to 32,148. But you know what? My goal is to have 40 grand. I need to find out how much I need to save in order to get to 40 grand. So I'm going to start up the Goal Seek tool Data Ribbon, What If Analysis, Goal Seek. The Goal Seek dialog box only has three things that we have to fill out. I want to set cell, in my case, I want to set cell B7 to be 40,000. 40,000. And I want to get to that goal by changing my weekly investment amount. So instead of $60, I'm going to click OK here, I'm going to need to put in $74.65. So if I truly want forty grand, I can't invest $60 per week. I need to invest $74.65 per week. Of course, this assumes I'm going to get an 8% you know, average annual return each and every year. All right, that's pretty good. What if I can pay $75 per week, but I want 50 grand now, but I can't invest more than $75 per week. So now I'm curious, what kind of rate of return do I need to get in order to get to my $50,000 goal? So I go to my what if analysis, goal seek, and now I'm going to set sell, in my case B7, where my future amount is going to be. My goal is 50,000, so that's my goal value. And I want to get to that goal by changing the rate of return. I'll click OK, click OK, and Excel is telling me, let me show a decimal here, Excel is telling me that I'm going to need a 13.2% average annual return over the next seven and a half years in order to get to $50,000, assuming I'm only going to invest $75 per week. And this is where you can start to use this tool and say, wait a minute, I don't know if that's going to be realistic. That's probably not a realistic goal now. So, since I can't, it's going to be tough to find 13.2% average on your return, something else has to change. Either my future date needs to get farther away, which will of course increase my time horizon. The years left is called the time horizon. So if I have more time, then my $75 a week can better get me to 50000 at a more realistic rate of return. So that's a little bit about Goal Seek. Now, I used Goal Seek on a couple of cells, and I used Goal Seek on two cells my interest rate and my amount invested. Both of these cells contained hard coded numbers, and that's important to remember. You're going to use the Goal Seek to change cells that simply contain a number, not a formula, not a function, or anything like that. So that's important to keep in mind. Um, let's try something else. I'm going to do another Goal Seek, Data Ribbon, there it is, What If Analysis Goal Seek. And I'm going to set cell, future amount, actually let me cancel this real quick, I'm going to change this back to 8%. Now I'll start up Goal Seek again. And I'm going to set cell, B7, my future value, to value $50,000 and I'm going to change my future date because that's a cell that I just typed a number in basically and a, a date is a number. I want to change that future date. Excellent. So if I can't save more than $75 per week and I know I'm not going to be getting more than an 8% return and I really want to get to 50 grand 
then my future date's going to have to change. So basically August 21st, 2020 is when I'll get to that $50,000 goal. So the Goal Seek is a fantastic tool under the data ribbon, and it's really useful for finding out what you need to do in order to achieve that particular goal. There we go.